Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to another edition of Sports Sunday. Yet again, not on a Sunday, by the way, so I'm totally lying to your face. Where we talk about sports life and everything in between, still kind of working in the quote-unquote March Madness edition of things, even though we're not really going to be talking about that tonight. I just felt like playing some more. <laughs> so... <coughs> oh. Still sick, by the way, too. I... I, I apologize if I sound kind of nasally. I tried to prevent that as as best I could by blowing my damn schnoz before starting this thing. But uh, that uh, Vicks Vapo Rub that I put on is kind of starting to wear off a little bit. So if if my voice starts getting a little Merle Haggard going into this, then uh, I do apologize. But it's uh, it's it, I, I gotta roll with what I got. <laughs> I have most certainly had way worse. Um, way worse examples of what my voice can sound like while filming these, so we'll just have to take it in stride. But we're still we're still working on the old uh, SNK crushers here, which <laughs> we're really the only ones doing the crushing at this point. They gave us, uh, if I remember correctly, I don't think it was this last one, but they they kind of gave us a, a a decent run in one of these. I think it was like, oh Jesus, <laughs> that is not a good way to start. Um, but, yeah, they, they gave us a pretty good run. I think it was, like, two episodes ago. Uh, we were actually losing going into, like, the seventh inning, but we eventually pulled it out. It was all good. So, let's, um... Kind of a weird... This is gonna be kind of a weird talking point, but I was, I was thinking about it all day today that... Um, I was kind of like running through like my hierarchy of, of different like sporting uh, like theme songs, like i.e. like uh, like NBA on NBC and March Madness and all these other ones. And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, especially because we're in March Madness right now. I'm sitting here thinking, like obviously it's gonna be a really big bummer when. Oh, see here it comes. The nasally part's coming back in. It's already happening. Oh God, <laughs> it's already gonna be a bummer when March Madness is over just because the tournament will be over and, you know, college basketball will be over until, like, freaking October or something like that. Um, but... Or no, not October, but y you get what I'm saying. But what I'm going to miss it for almost more than the tournament itself is the fact that it's got, in my opinion, I think the second best, um, like, theme song out of any of the network theme songs for various sports. I think that the only one that it loses out to, personally, is the, the classic NBA on NBC theme. Like, that one, in my eyes, is the ultimate one. The, uh, the classic... So, you know, that, that one. The one that was composed by none other than John Tesh. <laughs> John Tesh, the guy that's on the radio on, uh, I don't remember what station it is. I want to say it's 103.3 FM. Um, but freaking that guy, that dude, composed the greatest sports theme of all time. But the, uh, the one, why did he not throw it to third? He could have at least had a chance at it. But, um, yeah, dude, the March Madness one is so good, it's so catchy, and it, it works perfectly. Like, no matter if it's if it's a game getting started up, or it's a game that's, like, really intense at the end, the theme is is absolutely spot on for- it's, it's almost like the Guile theme for, uh, it's like the Guile theme from Street Fighter 2, but for sports. Like, you could put that into freaking anything and it would work. And it's so- it's such a short one, too, but it's perfect, it's just that- it's just it's it's a very simple one, but ah, oh, it's it's just like sonically, it sounds so good. It's so crisp and well done. And so when I'm sitting here going through all, when I was sitting here thinking about the two of those. I was like, you know what I should do? I should go through all the different ones and like rank, uh, like do like a personal ranking system for the ones, for the ones that I like. And so here I am. I I, I kind of wrote down all the different ones that I could think of off the top of my head, and I know I forgot a couple already, but I decided to rank them out. And I actually like tried to write them down and remember them, <laughs> like as far as what they are. But I, I, I forgot a couple, I, I, I went back and listened to them all, and I started writing some of those down, and I'm like sitting here thinking, there's no way that I'm going to be able to like refer back to this and have it make any sense. Like, looking at this on my notepad, it just looks like the insane rantings 
I'm like a mental patient in the ward. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. So I, oh boy, that is absolutely gone. Oh my god. <laughs> Almost pegged that dude wearing the blue hat or the helmet or whatever it was in the stands there. Good lord. That didn't stand a chance. Was that Jab? It was, oh no, that was, was that, I don't remember who that is. Was it Jab or was it... Paul, or I don't remember. I don't remember all the names of these guys anymore. But man, that thing got tanked. Good God. So okay. So obviously, NBA on NBC is my number one, uh, and then March Madness is my number two. And then uh, I, by the way, a as a disclaimer, I would totally play you audio clips. Like I, I seriously thought about um, just making like little audio, like little audio recordings of them on my phone and just like playing them, but. As soon as I thought of that, I was like, dude, you can't. <laughs> that would be something where you would get you would get copyright claims all over the place if you decided to do that. So I, I definitely can't do that one. Definitely is not one that's a, that's gonna be a thing. And I'll try to remember them, but I do have I do have like short term memory loss at times when I'm trying to recall information like this. <laughs> so some of them I won't be able to come up with. But I know that a lot of you guys that are actually watching this will probably know it offhand. Or, or you'll just, you know, you can look it up on your own. So if I do forget one, then uh, you'll be able to, you'll be able to kind of check it out on your own there. So next in line, I've got uh, the theme for Monday Night Football, which obviously we all know that's a pretty classic one. Albeit I can't remember it on my own for some reason. Oh my god, <laughs> that was terrible. How did I get doubled up on a foul ball? That was so stupid. I sent my guy back because the my my base runner was already on first, like he was already standing on first. It forced my guy to run towards second, which I think is personally really stupid. <laughs> but obviously, the, my hands are tied on that. There's really nothing that I can do. So yeah, what do you do? So we got Monday Night Football, the classic one there, which I for some reason I can't pull that one up in my head. I know like I know it by heart, but it's just it's not coming up right now. Followed by. Uh, the next one in the list here, followed by, it's um, it's like the MLB or or uh, NFL or college football on Fox. The one that's the uh, uh, it's that one. Uh, that that one. I love that one. And then um, the NCAA football one. The NCAA football one on uh, CBS, on uh, the one on CBS that they usually do for like SEC games only, which I think kind of sucks that they're the only ones that get it, and everybody else gets stuck with the uh, the ESPN one or whatever, which I think is a total freaking drag. That one I actually have on the very bottom of my list, the NCAA on ESPN one. It's so boring. It's just dun 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 dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. <laughs> it's it's so it's so lackluster. Like I get they're trying to be all ultra dramatic with it and whatnot, but I think they really came up short on that. The one they had before that was actually pretty good, but I I can't remember it offhand. But the one they have now, which is the one I'm judging for this process, is absolute crap. So that one's on the very bottom of my list. But the one on CBS is good. It's the um, it's the one that's the da 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 da. -da. That one. <laughs> I know that this is probably sounding like absolute, just like <laughs> complete and utter chaos and insanity to you guys right now, and it's probably not helping even more so at this at this moment that I'm super nasally, so this probably sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> but. I'm, I'm rolling with it anyways, because it's something that I feel passionate about, and and uh, I like talking about it, you know? Um, and then there's the um, there's the NBA on ESPN one. I personally love that one. It's the... It's, it's that one. I mean, you guys have probably heard that one a million times. Uh, the next best one was the uh, NFL on CBS, the... Uh, that one. I, I didn't do as good a job on that one, but uh, you you get what I'm rolling with here. Oh no! <laughs> what happened right there? That guy totally misjudged that. <laughs> he just ran to the fence and wow, that was that was awful. 
That's like something that you see in like high school or college baseball sometimes where a guy loses the ball in the sunlight or whatever. I've totally done that before. I had one where this guy hit a pop fly out to me and I, I it, he just cranked that thing. And so it was going straight out to the, oh boy, it was going straight towards the fence. And so I ran all the way out to the fence, but as I'm going that way, I lost it in the sunlight because I didn't have like the, the UV shades that could, you know, really block that out better than the other ones. Uh-oh. Okay. And so I lost it in the sunlight, and the thing ended up bouncing, like, probably a solid, like, ten feet in front of me, and the guy ended up with a triple. <laughs> it was just... It was it was really crappy, man. It was it was not good at all. So, yeah, it was, it was an embarrassing moment, but that... I mean, that happens to everybody. It's not like, you know... It's not like, oh, God, you totally suck. You was a pop fly and well, it was right there. Paul has four home runs? Really? Jeez, he is he is on a tear right now. However, we'll see we'll see who ends up with the most home runs at the end of this uh, at the end of this season. Ironically, it's probably going to be somebody from the American Dream because those guys are just freaking <laughs> they're ball pounding killing machines. <laughs> so it's particularly unfair, but uh, we'll we'll see what happens. If I get my guys beefed up enough. Uh, by the time I get to them, I might be able to make a pass for having one player having the most, but uh, it, it, it gets tough. It, it really does. Especially because, like, the pitchers for the American Dream Team are so freaking good, man. Especially, like, Sandy Koufax and Cy Young. Those guys are not fair. <laughs> I mean, they can just launch, you know, like, 100 mile an hour pitches, and they're really hard to hit as far as, like, power is concerned. But if you do get, like, a solid hit on it, and you actually get a pop fly out of it, you can pretty much hit a home run off of it. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, and so the, the last two on the list, I already told you the, the NCAA on ESPN one is the, the college game day one pretty much sucks. And the one I have right before that one is the uh, NBA on TNT one. I'm not a particular fan of that one. I, I think it's also pretty underwhelming. It's just that... So, yeah, it's it's that one. I mean, realistically, if we're getting into it, they're all, like, none of them, like, the only one that I think is actually truly bad is the, the College Game Day um, one on ESPN. That's the only one that I actually think is bad. All the rest of them are actually pretty good. They're all pretty memorable in their own right. Uh, but that's, that's the ranking system that I have for it. I... I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm probably one of the only people that actually has a ranking system for those things. <laughs> because I'm weird like that. I don't know. Oh, come on, baby. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, baby! Yes! <laughs> Finally! Finally! We haven't hit a home run in quite some time, I believe. So this, this is good. This is very good. And that was, uh... Who was that? Was that, uh... Was that Fuller? No, that wasn't Fuller. Who goes, was that, let's see, it wasn't Kevin, because Kevin's the number one batter. Was that, um, oh, come on, I can't think of his name right now. Um, ah, whatever. <laughs> it's whoever the other guy is that's not Kevin, that's, that's the, that's the dude. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my ranking system for that, not like the majority of you guys actually cared, <laughs> but... I, uh, I felt like I had to roll with it, you know? It's something that, for whatever reason, I really felt like I needed to talk about. I really was going to say it more in the vein of just, like, the March Madness theme, and I'm going to be really sad when it's gone. But then, I was just like, dude, why not talk about the rest of these? Because they're all, for the most part, pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah, what do you do? But hey, I mean, we're, we're about to, we're about to, you know, we're about to implement the 10 run rule here, if, if we can get one more in this, in this thing. I don't think it's, oh, never mind. It, it had potential for a second there off the bat, but it, it kind of died out a little bit. Fuller definitely did not drink enough Pepsi at this point, so he's not on he's not really on the caffeine bender that's going to give him enough enough oomph in that thing, you know, to to bring it home, Jackie. Nope, kind of vibrated there in a in a particularly uh, in a particularly suggestive area. I need to not have my phone right there for a while. That was. That was a bit awkward. Okay, here we go. Good times. 
It's kind of funny, for whatever reason, and, and I think that this, this actually applies for most of the teams in this outside of, of the American Dream Team, is most teams' leadoff batters are pretty crappy. Which is really weird because that's like t it's like totally against the grain of how of how most traditional baseball teams are formed. Like usually you have your best your absolute best contact hitters batting in the one and two slots, and then you know have your your power hitters in your three and four slots, and then kind of some sort of weird kind of toss up at the end, and you have you know your worst hitters at the you know kind of the eight and nine slots, but. For whatever reason, it seems like a lot of the teams in this game, for some reason, unbeknownst to me, they're they're like their one, like their one and two batters are generally really bad. Like the ones, the the ones for uh, for the lovely ladies. Granted, Gina was actually pretty good. She was actually a fairly solid one hitter. But the guys for this team are really bad. The I feel, I, if I remember correctly, the one hitter for the Ghastly Monsters team when we get around to them is is. Not very good. Uh, I can't remember specifically if the guy for the uh, the World Powers, which we'll be dealing with a little bit later in this series, I can't remember whether he's any good or not. Uh, I, I if I remember correctly, he's not. Oh god. Oh boy. And then uh, the guy for I think it's the Japan Robins. I remember playing against them on a fairly recent uh, go through of this game. I don't remember that. I don't remember that guy being very good. But the guy. Uh, the ones that I can remember that are good is the guy for the for the Ninja Black Sox, I think is what the name of the team is. Uh, that guy is pretty good, and obviously the guy for the American Dream is an absolute nightmare. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's Babe Ruth. I, 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 no, it's Pete Rose, that's who it is. Yeah, Pete Rose. And I mean, that kind of explains itself. And then it's Babe Ruth right after that. <laughs> so, it's, uh, it's pretty ridiculous. It's, uh, it's, it's out, that team is absolutely outrageous. <laughs> you'll, you'll totally, you'll totally see that for yourself in approximately, uh, about, eh, what are we on right now? Like, I think we're on, like, what, it's gonna be in, like, 17 episodes when we get there, but, oh, man, it is, it is something to behold, I will tell you that right now. <laughs> Those guys are just crazy. And the, the crazy thing is, when I played against them in my other playthrough of the game, I totally wrecked them, man. I mean, I shaved their legs and wrecked them. It was, it was, ooh, boy. <laughs> I, I, like, I, I instigated, or instigated, I, I implemented the 10 run rule on them, like, 8 out of the 10 games that I played them. They played me close one time out of that, and all the rest of them were absolute just destruction derbies, dude. It was crazy. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep Harry in for this because he did give up the home run, so we may as well go for the complete game here, since obviously this will be the last inning. So we'll uh, whoop, unless something stupid happens here. <laughs> God damn it! Ah! <sighs> All right, I need to blow my nose really bad right now. It is it is turning into a nasally nasally exhibition of mess and phlegmy mucus disgustment. And that's not even a word, but I'm going with it. Alright, Neil. <laughs> Give it to me! Give it to me, Neil! <laughs> Such an awkward line. That is one of the most awkward lines on, on Family Guy, in my opinion. Just because of the way that it's played off of that tape recorder. When he's uh, trying to blackmail Meg or whatever. <laughs> Give it to me! Give it to me, Neil! <laughs> oh, that show is so weird. <laughs> I love it, though. But it, it is a weird show. For... Obvi for obvious reasons that I don't need to get into. Okay. Oh, it was it was Jeff. That's right. Yeah, it was Brother Jeff. That's right. Good times. All right. So we're uh, we're 16 and 0 right now. The the dream is still alive, and uh, we did get a home run out of it. So that's pretty cool. I, I feel bad for Ch for Shacho though. For uh, on the other side of that, there. It just. Uh, I mean, what do you do? You know, when when your team sucks outside of like two guys, then your team sucks outside of two guys. <laughs> there's just there's not a lot that can be done there. Um, oh, the wait, are, is the Brave Warriors in this league? I forget. So we got we have us, we have these guys, we had these guys, we have the Gasoline Monsters and the World Powers and the American Dream. Okay, so yeah, I don't, I don't think that we had the Brave Warriors or I know we didn't have these guys. I know we didn't have these guys. I forget who all's there. Yeah, so we don't have, we don't have the, the Brave Warriors, we have World Powers instead. But yeah, 
so that's that's just the way that it goes. Now, who are we going to fix up here? We need to fix up Balzac. Wait. Uh, oh, no, we don't. He's he's part of the bench. We don't need to worry about that right now. I, was, I, I saw that. I was like, wait a minute. How did I let that one slip away from me? <laughs> Him being only at 16,000 or whatever. 25, 25... I think just about everybody's at 25 at this point. Yeah. Alright, everybody's at 25, so... Let's just, uh... Let's just go random here. Stop. It's gonna be Buzz. Alright, the man anchoring the end. Why the hell... Ooh, wow. Okay. Give me the big power up here, so we'll get... Uh, we'll get one here. One, one. Defense. One prestige. And then, uh, how about one more for hitting? Man, that's a good-ass power-up right there. Good freaking time. Let's do one more random here. Stop. Snake's getting it. All right. We're really, really fortifying the back of that lineup for some reason. <laughs> but another really solid power-up. All right. One, 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 and one. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> He's got such a smug look on his face. He's like, eh. He's like, how dare you? <laughs> playing around with my emotions and statistics like that. Alright, my friends, well, we have come up to the end of this, so when we come back on the next installment of Let's Play Baseball Stars and Sports Sunday, we are going to take on the SNK Crushers for the eighth time. And then from there, we shall uh, we shall keep the dream alive again, I, I would imagine. So, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care, everybody. Bye.